Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Espresso on S3. And we're going to dive into the world of entertainment news and catch up with what happened to the world of celebrities over the last weekend. And we're kicking it off with some extremely sad news. Yeah, heartbreaking. I think for, for many of my generation that grew up watching Friends back in the day, this was obviously a hard blow. But you can only imagine for those that have connected to the incredible Matthew Perry, who has been on a journey. He has sadly passed away at the age of 54. So TMZ were the, one of the reports that we landed on. And they said the Troubled Star recently released a tell-all memoir that I've started diving into, highlighting his battles with substance abuse, was found dead sadly today in Los Angeles um, in the area in his home after an apparent drowning. Not more details or not many more details have been released at this stage, but the site said that Perry had played pickleball just before that, returned home and then sent his assistant on an errand and then he was found uh, by them unresponsive a couple of hours later, presumably having drowned in his bathtub. Um, and I think obviously the world around him, the entertainment world that has been I think very connected to his personal journey through, yeah. uh, I mean, he has been out of rehab, I think 15 times. He had to have 14 operations to repair his colon that actually burst and almost killed him as a result of his opioid abuse at the time. And that happened post an operation. Um, but when you look back at his incredible acting journey, which was kind of woven into that narrative in 1994, he hit the big time as Chandler Bing in Friends. And I think he was <laughs> the, the driest, funniest, man we had seen on TV and he was a perfect counterbalance for that cast. In fact, they said he was the hardest member to cast for Friends because no actors could walk that line, find that kind of funny balance, <laughs> excuse me. And of course, with that series, he went to the top, an incredible 234 episodes, becoming a pop cultural phenomenon and making each of those cast members superstars. And Perry was joined by Cox, Matt LeBlanc, Lisa Kudrow, David Schwimmer, and of course, the very famous Jennifer Aniston, all household names and impossibly wealthy. They made a huge amount of money, but it does really highlight the fact that what you see is not often what is going on behind the scenes. And he had gotten to the point where he even turned his house into a halfway house to help other sure. recovering addicts. That's how far he went down that path. So we are sending nothing but love and positive energy to his friends and most importantly to his family. Uh, Matthew Perry, rest in peace. Well, if you look at your own friendship circle, I think we all relate to a oh, character sure. or you use one of the characters of friends to describe your own friends. And I remember not too long ago, someone was asking me, what does your friend do? And I was like, you know what? I actually don't know. She's like the Chandler of the group. We don't know what she <laughs> does but she's very successful yeah and she's funny man and she is funny yeah. well listen swifties this is not the news you were hoping for Sorry, sadly guys. taylor swift is not coming to south africa because after an email was received by many south africans seemingly teasing that taylor swift was headed to south africa the email read we're entering a new era in 2024 are you ready for it began the email oh. but then moving swiftly towards 2024 we're shaking off the year that was and heading into a whole new era of health, happiness and evolved benefits, continued the email. Now, if you're a Swifty fan and you know this, the era you are ready for and it is the Swifty, that would have mean, oh my word, she's coming, but that's not the case. Tick, tick, tick. However, oh. big concerts then revealed that the lineup for what they call South Africa's ultimate musical festival will include Maroon 5 Yay! as the I'll headliner. Take it. How incredible is that? Maroon 5 will be joined by British band Keen oh, and brilliant. Italian artist Medusa and pop star Ava Max, as well as our very own Will Lindley and Loiso. How Ooh. incredible is that? Superstars, and I'm, I'm as excited about Luiso and Will being on that show. We've had them on our show as they kind of entered into this amazing uh, kind of season of their careers. That is awesome. Oh, well, this festival is taking place on the 31st Yay. of January in Cape Town and the 3rd of Feb in Johannesburg. Tickets will go on sales this Friday and you can find more details at calabashsouthafrica.co.za. Oh my word, Adam Levine, please come on to our show. Adam, yes, please. please come. He's like my spirit animal. I absolutely love him. That is incredible. But like I say, to see Loiso after what he's been doing over this last year, blowing up in America, absolute superstar on a global stage now, to have him come back and perform in what will no doubt be a sold-out stadium in South Africa, that is special. But look at that lineup. 
Adam Levine, I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> Likewise, Fuff the Clark, I love you even more. And your speedo, buddy. Oh, so this weekend, once again, obviously, South Africa came together in just the most incredible way to back our boys in green and gold as they took on the All Blacks in that Rugby World Cup final and were Victoria, uh, victorious. But in true uh, Fuff style, he celebrated in the iconic speedo with a South African flag <laughs> as he met, well, just about every famous person in the world, including the great Roger Federer, who came to attend the game with his South African scarf as well, showing his South African connection. Um, the Rugby World Cup did poke a lot of fun at Fuff, um, posting him in the speedo in just about every space possible, captioning four years apart, reckon they've been washed. <laughs> I hope so. He's probably got a few pairs, don't yeah. worry. Um, but we are here for the Fuff fever. And in case you missed it, South Africa, of course, bagged their fourth Rugby World Cup, the first team in history to do that with their 12 11 win over the All Blacks. And as a nation, we could not be prouder. Mm, super proud indeed. Well, that was your entertainment news from our news desk for today. But the conversation doesn't end there. Our social platforms are always up to date and what's happening on the social streets. So you're welcome to follow us at expressoshow.com. And that is where you can find all of the latest news and perhaps share your own news for sure. with us. All right, and of course, um, there has been an update to a particular story that came in a little bit uh, late. And this, I think, got us so terrified, we structured an entire show around people being duped mm -hmm. online. And we were talking about catfishing, and of course, this came to a head with an impersonator pretending to be a doctor and it showed just how easy it is to be able to do this. Now, he had actually taken on the mantle, he had stolen the identity of a young medical student at the time. Well, we were worried at um, the possible repercussions of this kind of um, opportunity, the fact that it was so easy for him to be able to do this but he is not going to get away with it, it okay. seems. Well, I have the story here in front of me. The bogus doctor, Matthew Lani, was arrested. Now, earlier this month, we did report on Dr. Matthew Lani, a social media doctor who was caught in his web of lies. And on Sunday, he was arrested at the Helen Joseph Hospital. And according to the Gauteng Health Department, Lani was nabbed as he was entering the hospital. The department spokesperson also confirmed that the hospital security detained him. So... Of course, some serious things happening. I think that's where the lines get blurred, where, where you're doing things for popularity on social media and where actual people's health and wellness is, is at, at harm. Um, and this speaks to a much bigger trend within that social media space that could potentially be devastating um, when you think of the medical repercussions of what could have happened. So I think this goes out as a very stern warning to anyone who is going to play around in that space. You might think that being online as some kind of buffer, some insulation against the real world, you will get found out and caught. Um, and of course, Zoe's going to be taking care of the official news headlines um, and then in just a moment, I'll be diving into those sporting headlines. So much to catch up on in terms of the cricket, the rugby, and of course, a little bit of footballing action last night. And while the Proteas continue on their charge with a very impressive performance against Pakistan on Friday, the Springboks are indeed world champions. I'll get into some of those sporting highlights, the highs and the lows. And of course, we've got a new local cricket champion to announce as well. But first, let's bring you up to speed with all the latest that's been happening in and around the world with those news headlines.